Pops Bridge by Eve Bunting. Illustrated by C.F. Payne. My pop is building the Golden Gate Bridge. Almost every day after school, Charlie Shu and I go to Fort Point and watch. The bridge will stretch across the bay from San Francisco to Marin. People said this bridge couldn't be built. Some call it the Impossible Bridge. They say the bay is too deep, the currents too strong, the winds blowing in from the ocean too fierce. But I know my pop can do it. Whenever I say he's building the bridge, Mom laughs. There's a crew of more than a thousand men working on that bridge, Robert, including Charlie's dad, she reminds me. I know that, but I just shrug. To me, it's Pop's bridge. Pop's a high iron man, balancing on the slatted catwalks, spinning and bending the cables. He climbs so high that sometimes clouds come down around his shoulders. When the fog rolls in, he disappears completely. That's why the high iron men are called skywalkers. Charlie's dad is a painter. The painters start work long before the bridge is even finished. My pop says if it weren't for them, the bridge would rust away. But I think he's just saying that to be nice. The Skywalkers have the most important job of all. At Fort Point, I look for Pop through the binoculars Mom lends me. The workers look alike in their overalls and swabby hats, but I can always find my Pop because of the red kerchief he ties at his throat. It's our own scarlet signal. I don't worry much about him on days when the sun sparkles on the water, when sailboats skim below. It's so beautiful I can forget that it's dangerous, too. But when the wind blows through the Golden Gate, the men cling to the girders like caterpillars on a branch. On foggy days my hands sweat on the binoculars. Where is he? When I find him, I try not to look away, as though the force of my eyes can keep him from falling. At my house, Charlie and I work on a jigsaw puzzle Mom bought us. When it's done, it will show how an artist thinks the bridge will look. Charlie and I work on the puzzle most every day. Bending over it, I feel like I'm building the real thing, along with Pop. I'm a Skywalker, too. We're almost done, Charlie says. I wonder which of us will put in the last piece. I shrug. But what he says makes me think. My pop built that bridge. He should set the last puzzle piece in place. That's only fair, even though Charlie might think his dad should do it. When Charlie isn't looking... I slip one of the pieces into my pocket. Later I hide it in my room. I'm saving it for Pop. The impossible bridge is nearly finished. One evening Mom and Pop and I walk down to Fort Point. The bridge hangs between stars and sea. It's like a giant harp, my Pop says, a harp for the angels to play. I look up at him, and I can tell this wasn't just a job to my pop. He loves the bridge. In San Francisco, there is great excitement. Everyone is waiting for opening day. Charlie and I have watched nearly every bit of the bridge go up. We saw the two spans come together from opposite directions. We saw them meet. We saw the roadway go in. And my pop did it. No one can be as proud as I am, not even Charlie. After all, my dad is a Skywalker. And then one day something terrible happens. Charlie and I are watching as the scaffolding pulls away from the bridge. There's a noise like a train wreck as the scaffolding crashes down into the safety net. 
the net tears loose, and men go with it into the swirling tide. I can't breathe. I can't think. But then I look hard through the binoculars and see Pop still on the bridge, his red kerchief whipping. Pop! I whisper in relief. Beside me, Charlie is screaming, Where's my dad? Where's my dad? We had seen him working close to that scaffolding. I can't see him now. We'll find him, I promise. We have to. I sweep the binoculars up and down the bridge cables, looking at every painter hanging high on his Jacob's ladder or swinging in a bosun's chair like a knot on a rope. Be there, Mr. Shoe, I plead, and then spot him. Over by that cross girder, I yell. Charlie fumbles for the binoculars. I help him. He looks where I point. He's there. He's safe, Charlie gasps. The next day we find out that only two of the twelve men in the water were saved. I think and think about that day. At night, half asleep, I see the bridge shake. I hear the crash. One of those men in the water could have been Pop or Charlie's dad. I finally understand and I feel ashamed. Equal work equal danger for skywalkers and for painters. The work goes on. A new safety net is put in place. Pop says there's less talking and joking now among the men. There's a remembering. But the bridge must be finished. And at last it is. We watch through Mom's binoculars as the golden spike is drilled in at the center of the main span. Now the celebration can begin. On opening day, no cars are allowed. Thousands of people walk and dance and roller skate across the bridge, including us. I wear Pop's kerchief around my neck. There's a man riding a unicycle. There's another on stilts. Navy biplanes fly above the great steel towers. Battleships and cruisers sail below the bridge and into San Francisco Bay. Wind strums its music through the stretch of the cables, and I think of my pop's harp. That night, our family has our own party with Charlie and his dad. There's stewed chicken and a Chinese noodle dish Charlie's dad made, and a snickerdoodle pie. The jigsaw puzzle sits on the coffee table with a gap in the middle. I've searched and searched for that missing piece, my mother says. A good thing we didn't leave our bridge with a space like that, Mr. Shu says. Pop chuckles. We'd be working still. It's time. I slip upstairs to get the hidden puzzle piece then find the scissors and cut the piece carefully in half. I go back down and put a half piece in Mr. Shoe's hand and the other in my pops. Finish it, I say. It's your bridge. It belongs to both of you. My mother raises her eyebrows and Charlie says, Hey, where... But I just watch as the two pieces fit in so perfectly, so smoothly. Team effort, my pop says. We raise our glasses of sarsaparilla to celebrate the laborers and riveters, the carpenters and the painters and the skywalkers, all the men who worked together to build the most beautiful bridge in the world.